So, how did two 19 year old boys successfully get their way into an arena ran by a billion dollar company with hundreds of security persons on staff? Well, we carried bags of ice. Duh. A wise man once said, it's so stupid, it just might work. And never was there a more vivid embodiment of this idea than what Damon and I did on the night of February 22nd. You see, the funniest part about this whole scheme is that the occupation of an ice delivery man has been nearly eradicated for the last eight decades. I mean, if you think about it, the term ice delivery man is kind of silly in and of itself, especially in an age where ice it comes out of our walls. Nonetheless, let's begin on Tuesday night. Are you sure? Yes. Go yank on the door, no, bro. No, why do I always have to go, do that? No, let me hold the, the camera door. and you go yank on the door. All right, sh fine. I mean, thank you. Making me always do the like the dumb stuff. Yankee. Yankee, Yankee, eggs and bacon. We drove down to the city and examined all 14 ways to get in and out of the arena on the ground level. For me, an ideal point of entry would be the one with the least amount of security and the one in closest proximity to my car. But being that there was no game that night, we'd have to wait until Saturday to make our final decision. 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 This decision. Next, we needed to find an ice manufacturer near the arena that we could pretend to work for. And bingo, Ready Ice has a manufacturing plant just four and a half miles away. Also, their logo is pretty easy to replicate, which we'll get to in a sec. We found a gas station nearby so that we could shorten the time between purchasing the ice and carrying it into the arena. And just like that, it was almost time. I got together with Damon to work out the kinks before we left. We had our hats painted with a slight tweak, just to make sure we avoided any kind of copyright infringement. Dang, we look good. The only thing left to do now was execute. Throw hands. Hey, ooh. No, we haven't eaten all evening. Yeah, we're All right, Zay, here's my keys in case this actually works. All right. Um, you guys saw this. Say now is sayonara. Hey, can you hold that real quick? Oh. It's all good. Sorry, can hey, I just need this? Where does it go? Yeah, these two sets are good. Hey, guys, is it alright Mr. Man? Yeah, we need to go. This doesn't feel real right now. I, uh, it hasn't really soaked in yet. Down to half time to where? Just down here. Like, I don't know if there's just down, down, down to the court. The court said they didn't need them. Yeah, so we just told the concession said to bring them down here. Like, but where down here? Who's who in concession? A uh, grant. Who? What's grant? McFarland. Like, we can just leave these with you. It doesn't matter. Give me one. Second. 
You guys work for the arena or you guys work for Ready Ice? We work for Ready Ice. We can go out this way? Alright. What? <laughs> <laughs> Bro! <laughs> that just happened. You did it. You did it. Let's go uh, that way? Isaiah? Yeah, let's go find Isaiah. Sounds. So, like, so, so, yeah, we went right to that entrance and we just had the bags of ice and we went in and we lied to him. Well, it looks like we're fired from ready ice. Oh, dude, Grant's gonna kill us. And shout out to Salt Lake Police, they were actually pretty nice. Yeah, they were really, really nice with us. Uh, they wouldn't take a picture with us though, but yeah, we're, we can't come back for another 30 years to. Dude, we Smith's Ballpark we or Vivint Smart Home Arena. Thank you for watching. We love you guys. We love you. Thank you. Hey, what's up? Speedy MG here. Daniel Maz. Daniel Maz. What's up, brother? You have a wonderful YouTube channel. You know what would be even wonderful or if you posted more? Let's or just came and filmed with us. Yeah, just come film with us. I mean, I'm not going to fly you out to the U.S., but if you make it here, you're welcome. But for the people watching, um, subscribe to Daniel Maz. I hope we're saying that right. I'm pretty sure we are. In Australia, it might be Daniel Maz. Daniel Maz. I'm not, that was pretty good. We probably shouldn't make fun of his accent. Uh, that's not. I love uh, England, like Australian accent. Yeah, sure. Daniel Maz, soon to be biggest Australian YouTuber. Daniel Maz, all the way from <laughs> all, all, all the way with the shrimp on the barbie, mate. Kevin, so say what up? Kevin, say what up? Say what up? So pussy, dude. Kevin, be nice.